Hello, 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 guys. How are you all? Happy Monday. Oh my gosh. Who is still tired from our Black Me. Friday event? Me. Oh my. <laughs> like, I am still. I don't know, how are you, like Tanner. Tanner came in this morning <laughs> and he was like, oh Lauren, I'm still, I'm like, don't even. I know. I, know I haven't exactly. been to the gym in over a week and that's like unbelievable for me. <sighs> well. And I had no motivation today. None. I've been Zero. also sleeping until like 1 a.m. and waking up at like eight or nine. So it's I mean, kind of really like, messing me up. Yeah, but it's like that Black Friday, the rush of, I know, of it was all so of Black good. Friday and then on top of that, you all were live that night, uh, for which hours. I stayed up and kind of tried to watch. Multiple I was in and out. hours, multiple hours. Um, so yeah, I can definitely. I think we were at a total of eight hours live on Black Friday alone, uh, which was crazy. But it was so much fun. Like I'm so glad that we got to spend our Black Friday with you guys. Yes. Um, because we made some awesome crafts, went over some amazing deals, which by the way, we had so many people that wanted to join um, our membership that we have decided it is extended. We're extending it. So like, we've extended all the deals until yes. tomorrow at midnight. Tomorrow at midnight is the very, very last day because you know, we sat and thought about it and they had so many good deals on the Cricut uh, machines. Yeah, if you, people if grabbed you it, may have friends, forgot their membership, something like that. Yeah, if we have friends that just got a Cricut, we wanted to make sure that they still get that deal um, and they can craft along with us for the next year. So we're super excited about that. Um, Mary, first time viewing live. Hey, Mary. Well, Mary, um, your first time live is also my first Ooh. time live hosting. Um, I would be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit nervous, but then at the same time, like I know, I know my craft family. I know you all. Um, I, mean, I know Lauren, you're going to you, me. After what you did on Black Friday during that craft challenge, I mean, <laughs> this is a cakewalk. Like, I easy. Know, I know. <laughs> after being in front and, like, literally having the pressure on, this <laughs> like, is so really. easy. So what are you making today, so Lauren? So today what we are making, and I'll kind of give you how we come, how I come to this inspiration. So we're making these little accordion Christmas trees, and I think they are so adorable. So what I was doing, it was one day I was getting ready to start decorating for Christmas. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for some reason this year, I was ready to decorate um, for Christmas like- On Halloween? Yes. So we had our Christmas tree up like super long time ago. Now, did it, um, did, it took me a while to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with the Christmas tree and where I wanted to go with decorations this year. Um, but I was looking on West Elm. So West Elm is one of my favorite home decor um, places to shop. And I was looking on West Elm at the sale page, mind you. <laughs> I'm a, I like my sales. And um, I saw these little accordion Christmas trees on their cover photo. Um, now, I never did see where, if they were actually selling them, but I thought they were so precious and so cute. And there was, I was like, we can make these. So I was talking to Tanner about it and he was like, no. We're gonna make we it are, right now. <laughs> we, we're gonna make it right now. Like we already have a file because I said, I'm afraid if we wait till too late, like these are not gonna be, I guess, as in style, but these have been around for years too at the same they're time. They're amazing. It's kind of, you know, styles come in and go out like everything else, but I just think they're so cute. Super, super simple for you guys to make. Um, and very minimal, like super minimal. Um, Your material is super, I mean, That's paper and adhesive. Thinking. Like, is Listen, that really it? Paper, cardstock paper. Love it. ATG gun or a glue gun, either one of those. You've will made work. both now, right? I have made both. Um, and the reason that I made both is because I wanted to make sure that I brought you all um, the best quality. And I will say this this is a little bit of a labor of love. Um, this is a Netflix and craft. Yes, it is definitely. I've seen Lauren working on this for multiple days here and there. Turn you on a, which thankfully, this one I did 
this morning. Started this one this morning. Oh wow, that was fast. I got it done in literally a quarter of the time. So once you make one, um, making a make when you once you get the hang of it it's going to be super easy for you now y'all all the tips and tricks lauren has already shared with me throughout this process yes. you all are going to have to make one yeah and it's gonna be so much fun yeah so the blue one right here i made using the glue gun which i'll be real honest like i'm a glue gun queen like from way back glue gun has been my thing um and i really going into this Thought that the glue gun was going to be my clear cut winner. Yeah, Lauren was ready for that glue gun. Demand. I was ready for it to be number one. Nothing can beat it. That was it. No. <laughs> so uh, why was it? What did you not like about the glue gun versus the HEG? I'm and asking because I'm a little selfish and I'm really curious. It's not that I don't like the glue gun. Um, if you don't have an ATG gun, the hot glue gun will work perfectly fine. But I will say, um, when it comes to the glue gun. It ended up being a lot thicker than this, and all those little hot glue gun strings took mm. me forever to get off, and it honestly was not near as forgiving as the ATG gun, and that made my, ended up making my tree be a little, I don't know if y'all can see it, it's kind of a little wonky, oh. like, let me see if I, like if you put a it, topper on, it oh, kind of sits a little I sideways, see. but see. that was because you know once that hot glue like once you lay it down like it's there's, permanent there's pretty much no moving it right the atg gun was a little bit more forgiving um with that and i did enjoy that so this one does sit a little straighter um i ended up actually having to go in with this one and like trim off the bottom so that it would sit straight wow. but i mean it's nothing that you can't like prop it up against something sure. to sit glue it, it to a base whatever you glue want it to, yes glue it to a base um but yeah, this was, it was just one of those things that we decided we have to do it now. We have I to bring it. this. You guys love paper crafting so much. We love paper crafting, minimal supplies. Um, and we honestly, the first time we did it, this is just with regular um, 80 pound cardstock paper. Mm -hmm. And I think this one is 80 pound as well. We pulled out the 120 and that too much that was so thick so um, hannah d is asking she says what do you think about an elmer's glue stick now i'm assuming that would possibly not stick as well as we're needing right the only thing that i would really concern me i don't think an elmer's glue stick no would stick what see can we you wanted. stretch out that green one just to show so, them yeah. like how it like truly is an accordion so when you make this like you have to stretch it out and it has to hold so I truly don't think that an Elmer's glue stick is gonna do the do, do what it justice. It needs. No. Yeah, I didn't think so. No. And I want to welcome June. First time viewing live. Welcome, welcome June. Yay! I love it. So, um, with that being said, yeah, we'll get into like all the detail details with this. This is later. pretty. This is a multi. -la I mean, there's a, multiple layers, but there's multiple things you want to know to master this project. Yes. That makes it really unique. So we're going to go ahead, let's go over to our share screen. Let me get out of design space real quick. And I'm going to show you guys where you can find this cut file. So if you just go to the Maker's Gonna Learn cut files, all I did was search Christmas tree. Very simple. Um, and then it is going to be, whoop, maybe if I don't make you guys sick, <laughs> going back and forth. The one that we use is going to be this tree silverware holder. Um, so I have downloaded that um, and we will now go over into design space and you can really, let me go back real quick. So I was talking this morning, kind of talking this through, like even this tree advent calendar, which I know it oh, is oh, a oh. print and cut, correct? Yeah. Or Christmas card. Like you could you could turn that one if you wanted to you just have to know where to glue but this one for this craft is going to be the easiest place for me to show you guys where to glue so we are going to go into design space we're going to go to our uploads and i'm going to show you guys exactly how we cut this um obviously we did this a little while ago add this to canvas so now guys did you notice that like lauren had that cut file saved there so i get questions all the time saying like, hey Tanner, how does the Makers and Learn cut files work in partnership with Design Space? So notice we had that product, we uploaded that file one time to Design Space 
and you're able to reference it every single time you need to come back without having to go back to the MGL website. So that's really nice. I loved that example. So thanks, Lauren. Okay, go to the overhead real quick. We're getting some questions. Yes, somebody asked what an ATG gun is. This is the Scotch Advanced Tape Glider ATG. And this is the what this is what we use. Basically, all this is is it's double-sided tape. Do you specifically have to have one of these? No, you no. don't. You can get those um, scrapbook little yep. the little scrapbook things. Now let me tell you, there's a reason why we recommend this one. Yes. You invest like twenty twenty five dollars into this larger, more advanced looking tape runner, but the mm -hmm. refills right here, I think you get a hundred. Um, yards or so like you get a ton of adhesive for like yes. two dollars so the smaller scrapbooking ones they're going to cost you more throughout the lifespan but this is more of a front-end investment and then you've got it forever which yes. we love and honest to goodness this looks very intimidating to reload i, I have a it full out video okay tanner has a full video but we also how, how um, long did it take you to figure it out oh one time really a lot yeah, there are people it. that really struggle with it I mean, it's just a simple, like, of course, if you, when you first have, use it, this is probably this area right here. I'm sure it's not as sticky as what sure. ours is, <laughs> which that stickiness down in here really helped me. Um, but you just take this and you're going to make sure that this side that comes off is going to be on the bottom because you're going to run it through there. And then you just do this, hold this down twist it a couple times so that it stays secure <laughs> it sounds it sounds a lot harder than it is but i just li i linked the full tutorial if you are interested in paper crafting or consider yourself a paper crafting expert watch the video it's nine minutes i explain what they teach atg gun is why you need it and most importantly how to refill it yes Okay, so we're going to hop back over to Design Space. So really and truly, you guys can choose which one of these you want. Um, of course, they are linked to their, right now they are together. Um, I really liked the shape of this one um, for this craft. Personally, better than this one. Well, look um, at the base too. I like to, it's a little curved at yes. the bottom of that other tree. So this base obviously is not going to sit straight whereas this one is straighter and is going to sit straighter so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to slice all of this which takes makes all of these different pieces separate so then you can come in here and select this and just delete it out because we don't need it so then we're going to come up here come down to contour because we don't need these two pieces that are in the middle um, that's where the silverware, it's, this um, cut file was made for to use as like a silverware holder. So we're going to contour those two pieces out, which leaves you with this tree. Now, I just left it the size that it is. I did not change the size, and I'm not going to change the size for you guys, but you all can make it smaller, bigger, um, whatever size tree you want. But for the ones that we have already made and the ones that I'm going to show you, I just left it at the standard size. So... My trick for this to make sure to try your best to get this even is I try to right here, this area at the very top of the tree, I try my best to line it up with one of these bold score lines right here. Just so, and you can even line it up like right here, just so I feel like it's pretty close um, to that intersection so that when I show you the trick to slicing it, it kind of makes it a little easier. And it's okay if it gets off a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna just take this one thing and continue doing it. So from there, after I've got it where I want it to go, I'm gonna go over here to the shapes. I'm going to choose my square. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here and line it up with that line as well. Unlock it, drag it down and then cover the whole side of this tree. That way it should be lined up pretty easily. From there, we're going to take it, we're gonna select all of these, and then we are going to slice. Look at that, two slices back to back. And then boom, boom, boom. boom. You're going to select all these, delete them, and there you go. Now Lauren, for the friends that are like, okay, you're gonna have to make, how many of these are we cutting out? Okay, so when you cut these out, you have to cut out an even number, but 
The good part about this is you don't have to duplicate this and arrange it right now. We're not going to duplicate this You're 40 times? You're not going to duplicate this. You are going to take it from here. You are going to go over to make it. Um, now, when we first made this, we made it on a 12 by 24 mat, thinking that we could get more in because we just made it on the 8.5 by 11 size regular cardstock paper. We were getting I'm going wild. to show you, it took us a while, but I'm <laughs> going to show you all how to finagle this around and actually get seven cuts out of one 12 by 12 paper, which That's is going to be saving you all um, a lot of time and saving you all some money with our materials that we use. So once we have this one, if you go up here to where it says project copies, I want you to go up to seven and then you're going to hit apply. Now it's going to put seven on two different um, mats, but I'll show you here in just a second. We're going to make all those seven fit on one mat. So this Heck first yeah. one, I'm going to take it and turn it so that the flat edge is up against there. And you're going to have to move, you'll have to move them around to get them to fit. Um, from there, the second one, we're going to turn down and to the right. And then watch how well this fits right here. Now this one, obviously we need to move a little Ooh, bit. Oh, you're getting down. close. Listen, I love it. I'm trying to save as much space and as much um, materials for our members as I can. You would be so proud of Lauren, everyone. She has been making sure we do not waste a single thing here in this office. Just I mean, call me Frugal Franny. <laughs> 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 you should see her. I mean, anything of value, we are keeping. It's amazing. Yep. And we're going to find a use for it, too. Then the next one, you're going to lay it flat. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I might be a little bit of a perfectionist and try my best, too. Um, and then you're going to line it up. See, this one's crooked anyway. Let's move this one up. Uh, let's not. Let's just, <laughs> let's just make this one crooked so that it fits. And then it's gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get close. So you're gonna be little tiny cuts. Then this one, we're gonna move in right here. And these you'll have to, now this is what, honest to goodness, this project, this part right here is what takes the longest. Now the best part is once you set it up one time, you can repeat cutting that mat over and over. So you're not doing this for each no. seven. You're doing this for the first seven and you're good. That's what I love about this project. Yes. So this one, that, that's that's real close right there. Let's move it. Just Lord, a you're getting you're getting a little frisky. I'm getting, this is your first live stream. Do you really want? Yeah, no, I'm going mean, there. She's pushing we're going it. there. Okay, so then we're gonna go to mat two, and we're gonna go ahead and move all of these over to mat one. People are saying, thank you, Lauren. I, I stand, they are standing in unity with you <laughs> because they're like, yes, this is me as well. So know that you're not alone, my friend. Well, I that's, you know, I don't know. We just, we, and I know you all, I'm not saying it's just growing up, being the oldest of three girls. My dad worked on the road. It was one of those things. We just had to make do with what we had. So that's what we're, that's what I, it's just ingrained in my system. And I try, like, I try my best. I'm the worst. I don't know about you, Tanner, but I'm the worst with, like, leftovers. I'm going to eat my Lauren, leftovers. You, let's not start about my <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> Lauren, yeah. uh, let's just say we have some, we have some issues with but our I, leftovers But sometimes. it's like, I hate, I hate wasting. Courtney's. But then uh, I end up wasting anyway, and uh, I don't want to be that way. Courtney's grandmother, who is probably even worse about saving food than you was at our home this weekend and i went through my fridge yesterday after they departed and i saw like two french fries in the fridge from her lunch one day at a restaurant i saw <laughs> like some like very little things of like chocolate fondue that was like i would had to like put in a hot skillet or something to un like it was so thick there was a lot of things that got that got trashed yesterday, but it was, it was so funny what she tried to save. It was amazing. Okay, so y'all can see this bottom one down here. Like I am gonna have to move these because I'm t when I'm telling you we're gonna cut it close, like I mean, we're gonna cut it real close. This is impressive. See, 
There we go. Move this up a little bit. See, more. I'm surprised Lauren's not putting some ornaments down in that rock corner or something. I mean, I look mean, at that. it's a, it's a thousand <laughs> wonders. I'm not honestly. I love it. Trying to get because I feel like, oh, I need to do something with this corner. So Rita's asking a really good question. She says, "Could you not just duplicate the first grouping?" Rita, no. So we're already at the map portion of this, where the canvas we can duplicate and move things around. This part of the Cricut Design Space software does not allow us to select and duplicate, unfortunately. Yeah, this is just, it just takes some finagling and moving around, but I promise you it fits and we're going to make it fit. Now guys, if you're just tuning in, this is Lauren's first time hosting. So if we could just give her some love in the comments, give her a like or comment, you know, just some motivation that we would love that for her first time hosting. Ooh. Yay, you're doing I'm great. I'm so excited. You're doing great. You're, I mean, you're winning them over one craft at a time. You know, just try my best. I love it. Although I didn't win them over with my... Can we talk about that? If you all missed the craft challenge, the camera's on you real quick. Um, <laughs> if, Lauren, I, why, I think Courtney got a pity vote. I, I mean, <laughs> she is half owner of the company. I mean... But, but I, if you all, you all haven't seen our Christmas decor yet, Lauren's wreath could fit perfect in our home, which is why I voted for you, Lauren. It was, it was great. Well, maybe I was trying to sweet talk myself a little bit. I just couldn't believe that not more people voted for you. And if you missed this, you need to go to the end of Friday's uh, Black Friday extravaganza and check that out. It was an amazing craft challenge. You got to really see a lot more of me um, kind of like talking to myself because I'm telling you, these two um, crafters were so focused. I, I was like having to pull things out of them. Yeah, it no, so when funny. we get, so when me and Courtney get in our zone, there's no, there's no getting us out of it. It's, and I don't actually, I, there's no lies to tell. I'm a very competitive person. <laughs> I'm an extremely competitive person. So, so, um, hurt my heart a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. To lose. It's like okay. if I would have lost by like one or two, I think I would it was, have been. But it's but listen, I get that. Like, I'm not spoke. mad. I'm not mad. Please don't think that I'm the people mad. Are, people spoke. Not at all. The people spoke. I, I was it. surprised. I'm just I saying. I normally but can Courtney's call. Courtney's was so pretty too. I can normally call I stuff. I loved Courtney's, but it was. It was wild. And that's the thing, and that's the beauty of like everyone has. So um, apparently, people didn't vote for you because it, it had red on it. <laughs> Which is, it, it's funny because Courtney hates red, so. Yeah, and I um, kind of picked red because I knew Courtney hated red and I knew she wouldn't go for red. I um, thought but that I people lo would I, love red. I love, now, is mm. red my favorite color any time of year? Any other time of year? No, but Christmas. Wow. I love wow. my red for Christmas. People are, people are giving you a lot of love here in the comments, Lauren. Everybody is so excited you're here and rocking it. So, you all yay. are too, too sweet. Um, Janice loves saving material because she's on a budget. So back, mean, to, your, back to your share screen. Okay, so we're gonna go back. We've got this arranged. As you all can see, like, we got some little cuts here. I mean, we got some, not little, but we got some close ones. Can the Cricut Explorer 3 pull it off? You we will find her? out today. I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think I'm touching just a little bit here. And honestly, if it's touching just a smidgen, I really don't think it's gonna matter that much. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I think I'm good. I love it. We now gonna find friends, out. Oh my goodness. So Listen, while I, she's getting ready to cut this, let us know if there's any first time viewers. If you, I've seen um, June's a first time viewer. We have Mary. If there's any others, drop us a comment. We wanna make sure we give you a warm welcome to our Makers Can Learn community. Um, our Black Friday sale was extended until end of day tomorrow. So take advantage of the lowest price of the year. Get grandfathered in. Um, at our lowest rate available, which is pretty incredible. Unlock a bunch of bonuses and so much more. Okay, did somebody disconnect mine? Did somebody disconnect your Cricut? Um, oh no. Oh, we did. Oh no. I found the issue. The devil's playing with the church's money the on this Monday. The devil's playing with the church's money. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody connected If mine? Lauren's had icy blue, she would have gotten my vote, hands down. I mean, I like we know we're blues, we're taking notes. I'll I'll take notes. Maybe next year I'll get her. Wow. 
Okay, chain picking our Explorer 3. Yay! Um, we are going to obviously set our base material to just an 80 pound medium cardstock. And guys, from here, it's smooth sailing. Amazing. It is so easy. Now, I will tell you this. Um, I do um, think that it is going to move my gonna That's move happening my to me. Cup. One time, um, that mat literally pushed my laptop off the table. Seriously? My 16 inch MacBook sure did. Oh my. It's wild time. So my suggestion, if you have two um, of the light grip mats, I would get two of them going at one time. This way you have, um, once this is done cutting, you can start taking those pieces off and then we can load this mat get it going and it just seems, seems to make it a lot easier yeah it's, Look at this. it's gonna be good now how's it going lauren oh we close close so quarters close, but i love it every uh -oh. inch of material i can use i'm using love it look at lauren just watch over her mat making sure everything is I mean, going to be perfect trying i love it now from here it's oh we're gonna be really close here <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. It. Yeah, no, we're good. Love it. So, from here, it's just gluing it. All it is is gluing these pieces together. How about that? And it's so easy. I mean, I just love how quiet this Cricut Explorer 3 is. If you're looking to upgrade this holiday season, wow. I mean, for us live streaming, it's very helpful. <laughs> Guys. Look how close. Wow. wow. Do y'all see how close this is? You're going to have to show it on overhead, I think. Okay. Um, we'll have that ready for overhead. So, you can see as this one's, I'm going to go ahead and reload this. And this is all you do. Once you get those set, one mat Just comes rinse, out. Just rinse, repeat. One rinse, comes repeat. in. Are we overhead? We're are overhead. We still, before I cut this, look how close we are right here. Wow. In here. I think we might have, I don't think there's any material between those two. That's crazy. I don't. See? Okay. So from there, these colors are blown out. I'm gonna try to fix this real quick. We're just going to unload our mat. Hit play over here. Get it, see it got so close right there. It was holy cow. But listen, that's what I'm saying. Like we use every you. I mean, don't tempt me to put a little circle right here in this corner. <laughs> But you can save that for but, another project, but look how Lauren. Close. Look at this, Lauren. That's a that'll be a good little piece for something. Okay, so while that one's cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and put another piece on, braid this one so that it stays down. Now I just like to start leaving these here, and we'll just start gluing. And I'm gonna show you guys. Where's my APG again? Here we go. So your first step when you're gluing these together, and I won't go fast so that we can all see this. Um, the first step is you're gonna glue the top, you're gonna glue pairs together. So you're gonna glue these pieces together in pairs. So in two, you're gonna glue the top, and then you're gonna glue here along this cut, here, and here. So I'll show you, and I'll start on here at the bottom. So your ATG is gonna go there, and then here, here, and then turn it around and just a little poop right there. So on, on the top. every one, there's gonna be four. Yes, one, two. Yes, on every one of these, there's gonna be four. But will it rotate? So once you every need, all of the pairs need to be the same. Okay. So you glue these two together. I don't want to be in your. No, you're good. You're good. You can bring I don't it up have a little. I want to put my head over top. So, but you really need to try. Yeah, go ahead. And align these, and then just. Kind of wow right through there look at that and then from there i set my pairs over to the side okay so that they're kind of out of the way and then i'll show you how to get to here so you're doing an assembly line you're making just pairs it is an assembly line i love it and that's why i said this is a, la a true labor of love um because it does take a while i mean once again once you get it down pat it's not going to be as not gonna be it take you as long, but Love it's it. still one of those things that 
it's gonna take you a little now bit guys i have to read this comment polka dot polka dot panda design said i'm enjoying my design make so pro i purchased on black friday congratulations and i want to encourage you if you've not went ahead and said yes to design make sale it's a hundred dollars off today if you use the coupon code dms lowest it's all i dropped it in a comment with you um and it's awesome so you can save a hundred dollars and say yes to design make sale today which is incredible as well as makers going to sublimate that is seventy dollars off until it launches on the first so again you really only have until tomorrow oh uh, yeah i mean our we were so overwhelmed with how many people decided to there say was like yes. 700 people crafting live with us members and non-members i mean it was crazy at everyone yeah. joining the membership on friday so we've extended it for anyone that was busy with family or anything like that you can still say yes to all of our black friday deals um so we're so excited to have you all now i know it looks like i've got a lot going on here um but one of the little tips and one of the tricks that i'm going to kind of show you right here instead of doing Can you one all that up just a tad bit yeah instead of doing just one at a time here one thing that could save you some time is going ahead and since you have your atg gun in your hand or with a glue gun it's going to be a little different because you can't let that glue dry right and i think that's why i also really like the atg gun is because it's so fast and you can just kind of let it sit until you're ready for it. But like I can go ahead and get four of these ready and do four pair at wow. one time, which is more than what you have on one mat that gets cut. So once Love those that. are there, just come back through, line these up. Love it. And you need to try your best to get them, that one right there. And the only reason I say that is because I know, I just noticed that one that I just glued together was not as straight as I would like for it to have been. Um, try to get them as straight as you can. However, with this ATG gun mate, it is a little bit more forgiving. Um, so it will be okay. Look now, at that. You can make these um, like with as many cutouts as you would like. I prefer that it be, when I was cutting these out, I really don't think you need to go under 70 of these. So if you think about it, um, you would do have 10 sheets of 12 by 12 cardstock paper. Um, and ha since you have seven on one sheet, you could get by with 10 sheets. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. And I love that Lauren's kind of, you know, she's working on these while the machine cuts and then rotating back and forth. So that's amazing. Yeah. And that way you've got, you can have, see right here, I would only have two. So what I'm going to do, oh no, what happened? Oh, do you want to show them what happened? Just yeah. so that they can see it. Look at that. We're going back over. Yeah. Overhead, yeah, Whichever. let's go overhead. Uh, okay. So, so that maybe one I little... did get it a little too close there. <laughs> that's little okay. Little. Maybe my blade decided it wasn't, wasn't happy with me. It's okay. But, or maybe it just came up a little bit and the, um, the wheels could have gotten it, but the rest of them are hey, fine. It's okay. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Um, so, but that's okay because I did buy 15 sheets of cardstock just to be on the safe side. So it's not a big deal. Um, we'll just go ahead. We may just stop cutting there. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cause you already got some cut out and we can make yeah. sure we um help everyone so let us know when you are when you all are thinking about making this project like what are you all you know have questions about yes janice i mean they're loving you lauren great time management work smarter not harder listen that is that's where lauren. that's where the the teacher portion of my brain i Heck guess yeah. comes into play is let's see how many things can we get done in the least amount of time possible i still don't understand how my kids can get everything done um like in a school day like they come home and they're like i didn't get to eat lunch like fast enough i'm like well you were too busy talking like they they stay very busy like praise the teachers here so does anyone have any questions about anything i have done oh so we've far? got we've got some questions why couldn't you just score the tree instead of slicing it so i have a video where i actually did this where i just uh, scored this exact cut fall. Um, that's how I knew from, like knew it so well. You're not gonna get the adorable accordion fold. You're gonna get a boring, basic fold. I'll, I'll find the video real quick. 
um, for you. 3D paper tree tanner bell. This accordion tree is like on a next level. Another yeah, level. it's. I mean, like I said, it's a labor of love, but it's one of those that I just think it's. It's amazing. It would be a good assembly line craft for your friends or family. Absolutely, Ooh, I love that. That would be something that you could do together. Um, and I saw where Aaliyah was on here and she said something about she's loving how her Asher, so I have an Asher and Aaliyah has an Asher. I know, isn't that funny? And this would be a perfect craft for you and um, your children to do together because it's so simple. I love that. Children, grandchildren. What weight is the cardstock? It's 80 pound cardstock. Yes. 65 pound will work for the tree project, but it just will not be as thick and sturdy as this one right here. Wouldn't you say, Lauren? Yeah, I, I really, I don't know that I would do anything. I mean, you can try it with 65. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but when it comes to... Can you bring that up in the middle? I want them to see like how... When it comes to wow. pulling it apart like this... Wow. I just like the sturdier. You can't go too sturdy. I can't believe that that actually, like Pops there's something. Together like that? The ATG is like, that's a testament to ATG or hot glue gun. Yeah. I mean, it's, and I, I'm like, I'm pulling on it. Yeah. I know. Like straight up pulling on it. Um, fold the tree flat if you want. That's a good question. But okay. after you attach it. I... After we attach this one, um, I mean, if you can find a way to do it, please let us know because I tried and tried to rack my brain around how can I do this so that, I mean, you could probably have hooks that keep it together. I'm going to go to you real quick. Um, I would think you could probably have maybe some hooks that You know what? We had some together. paper clips today that we could have tried. We could have... We could get a paper clip and try it. We can try it with a paper clip. Sure. You know what? Caitlin you know what? is going to go Let's run and grab that. us a paper clip. We're, We're going to test it that. out. So I while love she's it. going to get us a paper clip <laughs> so that we can try this. I love it. I, I mean, because I love the idea of being able to store these and like, because these little edges are very, like they. Let's, if, let's get real. If we put that in storage next year, it's gone. If we put this in gone. storage, it would be gone. That would be true. Next year. So. Okay, Caitlin has grabbed the paper clips. Woohoo! Thank you, ma'am. Oh, we got colorful, so we can even uh -huh. put green ones on there. Another thing that you could possibly do is if you had, um, if you cut a piece of like cardboard on one side, maybe. Well, let's get Velcro too. Why not? Might as well. I mean, there's multiple. Yeah, there's multiple ways to make it work. Yeah. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and go to the overhead so I can show them how. So now that you as have you your pairs, see, we have our pairs. We have all of our pairs here. Um, what you're going to do? So with the pairs, we glued here, here, and here. Now we are going to do the and up here on the top. Now we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to glue at the very bottom of the tree, mm -hmm. in the middle of this section, middle and middle, and not the top. So okay. now we're going to glue bottom now middle. if anyone's trying to multitask for this project like come back to us watch what she's doing ex like yeah. listen at you know what's happening here because i don't want you all to forget this yeah because this is where you can say my little atg gun didn't work for me that time this is where it's important that you don't go between gluing one and then switching and doing the other. That's why I say do the pairs, do all of your pairs first so that you are in the mindset of gluing here, here, right. and here. And then once you have all of, all of your pairs, then you start assembling it and putting it together. Okay. Um, and then you're just going to line these up. And I mean, it's, once again, I tried earlier doing trying to save as much time as I could since I had my ATG gun. See, and this is something else, y'all. It's forgiving. <laughs> it is forgiving. It is very forgiving. But see, just bring that back up. and. So Lauren, because I know somebody is asking, aka me, um, what's the bare minimum? If I wanted to make one the fastest, the easiest way, do you think I could pull this off with 50? Do you think I could do this with 45? How many to make it look good? I just don't think that um, 
I'm afraid that you wouldn't be able to pull it all the way around with oh, 40 or 50. Okay. Because the white one that I've got, mm -hmm. um, that I did with the ATG gun, and even with the hot glue, I thought that I would be able to get by with yeah, less than 70. Which I agree. Um, because hot glue is obviously going to keep it together a lot better than ATG. Um, so I thought that I was going, I could get by with a lot less. But then once I started um, pulling it apart when I was doing the hot glue and I started kind of stretching mm -hmm. it out, it, it still just wasn't. wasn't. It. it wasn't doing what I thought it could, like what, I don't know. I just didn't, I think 70 for me personally. 70 is your sweet spot. Is the sweet spot. Okay. Now you can do a lot more. Um, when you do more, it's going to make it look a lot fuller. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to make it look, I don't want to say luxurious, but look more high end. Because I feel like, is there more on the blue one than the white one? Yes. I can, and there I can tell that. There is more on I the blue one than there yeah. is the white one. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So Carol, we're recommending 70, but feel free to add more. But I'm trying to convince Lauren over here. Can we, can we do like a, 40 50 she says no yeah i'm not i'm i'm not she's I'm not, not back okay that. that one i'm not backing <laughs> that sorry y'all i'm trying to be as frugal as i can with putting all but of you my... want to make it look west elm on a dollar tree budget exactly i like, like that you know you get cardstock paper on sale heck yeah you're looking at what oh my gosh i mean three four dollars at i mean not not even honestly <laughs> you're paying so, five dollars I mean, for the pack of paper and you're gonna be able to make at least one or two so unless you want a very custom color that you don't mm -hmm. get in a pack right yeah. i would recommend we, we're having some conversations here over cardstock now guys if you're going to be you know like a paper crafter and that's like your trade i want to recommend paper tray ink paper but that's like from tanner when he only did paper crafts today's tanner we use literally whatever we got like we'll use Hobby Lobby today. We'll use Walmart tomorrow. Like, listen, I went to Walmart and looked for some at Walmart at our local Walmart because I had to go to Walmart to get storage bins as well. And I tried. I was like, Man, if Walmart's got it, I'm just gonna get what Walmart's right. got. Did but they I, have any? I didn't see any it's at okay. our Walmart. Not saying that any other Walmart's not gonna have them. Did you see the new Cricut area at our Walmart though? No, I didn't. Then you must not make it to the I right area. I made it to so it's at the back area, so they moved it. So all the craft aisles are where the baby section used to be. Oh, then I was way off. I was looking in where like the school supplies and stuff are, which is where it used to be. Oh, so they're, yeah, they moved it. Oh. They moved it. I didn't know the that. The baby section is now craft section, and I showed my mamma. What? So you, you all know my poor mamma does not understand what I do on the internet. I tell her, you know, some things, and she's confused. I took her down the, the cricket aisle the other day, and I said, mamma, when I started this business four years ago, cricket had like like maybe two feet of all space. Now they have like two aisles, wow. which is crazy. Wow. Um, and it's, it's fun. Now That's we're getting insane. a great question from Heidi. I saw that. Um, adding shades of the same color family Let's go to the main camera. would be, I think would be beautiful, especially if you were able to figure it out and go like dark green, lighter, or, you know, blue, whatever. But if you went like dark green, lighter green, light green and then back to dark green and then back to light mm -hmm. like if you were able to figure it out in a pattern right so that it or or where it ombres like you mm. split that let's say you did uh, you had four different colors in the same color family and you split it up and you did 80 pairs instead of sure instead of seven or you did well, however many pairs yeah. and you say let's just, let's just say you did 80 pairs actually that'd be 160 cutouts let's just let's go back <laughs> and let's figure that you do 40. So that 40 pairs would be 80, 80 of these cut out. And let's say you did 10 pair with a light blue, then a darker, and then you ombre it would be really pretty. That would be a hoot and a half. It would be. Now I'd be struggling just to make this <laughs> with one <laughs> <I> color. Mean, <laughs> But what I'm saying, like, you could do it. Like, yeah, you it's totally definitely could. doable. I think it would be beautiful if you did it right. Like yeah. the gradient, ombre, whatever. Yes, yeah, definitely so, same gradient and everything. We love that. What I do next, once I have glued it and it looks together like this, my suggestion to you is take this and just pull because you're going to see some of these, like, let's look. 
Well, it was stuck together somewhere up here. There was somewhere where I was seeing these top. I would probably pull apart here, mm -hmm. go through and make sure that, oh, see, if you all can see right here, and y'all may not be able to see it, I forgot to put glue right here. Oh. And so I can see that it doesn't look right. Uh -huh. So what I can do, and really if you wanted to come in and put a dab of hot glue or you could, let's do that. I think the dab of hot glue, I like that idea. That way we could just stick a little there, hold it down. Now part of the stretching too is just to get it flexible ready for that wrap, right? Part of the stretching is going to be to get it flexible because it's a lot harder to pull it around once if it's not flexible. The other part of the stretching, and this is where I've got our reverse tweezers out, the other part of the stretching is to see if you've made any mistakes, if you need to add a little bit of glue here, add a little bit there, and also to come in through here and like get this excess glue out right here because you're, I mean that's going to happen point blank like you're gonna right. have a little bit of excess glue and it's going to keep these to get like held together in certain spots and that's okay see there's one um, I don't know if y'all can see down here at the bottom there was one and it may have just helped itself it might have but that's another thing that's what helped like pulling this apart will help do that it'll help kind of see the issues yeah there's get ready. one I don't know if can we go over yeah. here so they can see this so if y'all can see right here, okay. you see this tape where you just kind of oh, come through and that. take that apart and then, you know, just kind of check everything and make sure. Now for the white one, there is 70 on the white one, correct? There is 70. See, so here's another one right here. Love that. Pull that apart a little bit and then come back over here and look. Yeah. So, and just stretching that. It's gonna, and there may be a few places where it comes apart, um, but that's okay. Like we're gonna, you can always glue it back down. Let's see, that should be open there. That should be open there. See? Then, so now we're gonna take your all's idea. Ooh, are we testing? What camera do you want? Let's go to one. Okay, here we go. We are going to test the paper clip and see how this works. How many friends do we have crafting with today? Lauren, we have quite a bit here for such a, you know, I won't say sporadic, but we didn't have this schedule out long long ahead. Yeah. So we have 191 hanging out. So we've been around around wow. 200 the whole time. They, they're so intrigued. They're so excited to try. I can tell you all are really excited to make this. And I'm okay. excited to see it in the Facebook group. So yeah, if we have um, members, who are here with us, and you all plan on making this, please show me what you come up with in our Facebook group. Um, for those of you all that are not members of Maker, Makers Gonna Learn, we are extending our um, best deal of the year, y'all. That way you have this cut file. Um, you can do this with us. Um, our Facebook group is a private Facebook group, and it's a community of people who really support each other. I've seen some absolutely amazing crafts on um, there the past few weeks. The boot camp projects recreated. Yes. Y'all showed up and showed out. Yes. So it's unbelievable. So I want to see some people make this tree because I think everyone can enjoy it in their home this holiday season. But I mean, if you're on the fence about uh, membership, Membership is, if you use the code, code BEST at checkout, you get grandfathered in at that price, y'all. That is, no matter if we go up on this pro these prices, you are always gonna be at 151.88. That is 42 cents a day. Crazy. For you all to have access to all kinds of files. Um, what I love is you commercial get, use for those yes. files. You can turn around and sell it and not get in trouble for it. Love it. But Lauren, imagine you're getting everything on our website today, but they get a, pretty much a gift every Thursday yes. of something new, which is kind of crazy. So you actually, it's one of those things like you get something new all the time. The old stuff we have doesn't go away. It's still mm -hmm. there. Any cut file they download, they get to keep forever. Anyone you download, if within the year of you saying yes to us, if you say, well, I just didn't use it as much as I thought I did, and you downloaded that onto your computer, it's yours. I really like that because that, you yes. know, at the end of a membership, usually you don't get to say you get to leave with something. Like, but then, you know, our membership, you do get to leave with something tangible even after. And look at Lauren maneuvering to see 
can we paper clip this together? I mean, this look was, at this. This is, this is honestly, this has been There's a lot of tension worry. here. There's there, a lot. There is a lot of tension. And we're just being real. Yeah. I want to, I want to be able to help you all. And like, if you can only make it once, like that's, I'm all about it. All about it. So I'm trying my best to figure out where I'm going to paper clip this. And MT says, can you get on the Facebook group without being on Facebook? So we actually recommend our friends to get like an alias profile account just so that you can be in our crafty community. There are so many amazing supportive people there. I get it. Being on Facebook is not usually a uh, positive place on the internet, but guess where it is in our, in our Facebook group. Like, so if you're traditionally not a Facebook user, it is a great place to get plugged in. Our membership is worth it if you don't use the Facebook group, but we just had a friend say, um, the Facebook group is worth the cost of the, your membership. So that alone should share with you how amazing it is and how much you'll love using it. So y'all, yay. <gasps> it worked. It worked. Oh my gosh. I'm so like, I was really afraid, and there is a, a small place right here where it's close that it kind of pulled apart, that ate that tape did a little bit, uh -huh. but then you can just go back in and just kind of squish it together. Uh -huh. um, That's incredible. <gasps> Tammy, yay, new member. Welcome, 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 Miss Tammy to the Makers Gonna Learn community. Look how cute. Love it. Now, Holy if I cow. was doing it, and this one, this one's my best one. Is it really? Yeah, it is. Look at that. It's so oh great. Oh, my I love it. <laughs> now, this one. What? Okay, this one I did use more than 70. Okay, how many? This one I like used. Like 80? Okay, so let me think. Because I bought 15 sheets of cardstock to be on the safe side. Mm -hmm. And I stopped putting them together at 10. Okay. So, this one... To see, I had the 70 plus I did three more, which is 20, 20 so I did 80. Yes, 80 Whoa, is on okay. this one, but it looks good, yeah. But okay, so you all can see the difference. This one is 70, and wow. this one is 80. I feel like this one looks personally more. I don't know, the white still looks I good. like the white one too. I just like the white tree, bring, the, like bring the, the blue tree, tree in too. The blue tree, let's see. Ah, love them all, really. Slow-mo that. Sick. Yes, Carla, I love that. Ooh. They all look really good. I mean, they all look really yeah, good. We could do, oh, we could do a TikTok. A yeah. We could do what? a TikTok. Okay, Lauren, that's crazy. <laughs> you did really good on that one. I know. I'm, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased. Now, Ooh. these two, these two I hot glued because I don't know what I was thinking. I was just trying to get them to stay. I really did not think that um paper clips but that's what this community is here for look at when us. we have a problem we come to our community and we figure it out together and whoever commented saying hey what if, how do i store this now lauren's gonna be able to take that paper clip mm -hmm. take it apart and go back to normal which yeah. is crazy so we'll just go ahead and do that now uh, will it will it come back together i'm sure it will We'll not do that. I'm that sure it's easy. One. It's easy to unpaper clip it, but I love how it can spin. I would hate for you to have to refigure that. Honestly, Lauren, let's an argument towards the paper clip. Let's say hypothetically someone glued it and it was off by a little, then it might have trouble standing up. This way, you know, there's yes. room for improvement. You're not permanently doing anything. That's pretty neat. Yes. Love it. Yes. Somebody said turn the white one around. This is the That's white all she one. Got. Yeah, it's I had to glue the white one. The white one's been done for a very long time, though. This was the yeah, very first one that, was that the first I did. One. Now, and Shelly it, says, what would happen if I wanted to make some smaller ones? Can you talk about, like, what you would be worried about if we went smaller, bigger, et cetera? So, going smaller, um, I think would work. Um, there is, let's see, where'd my mouth, where'd this go? I don't think that you should have a problem um, going any smaller because I'm with you guys. Like, I think... Um, having a variation of different size trees would be beautiful. Um, let me get in here. I mean, I've already got one loaded. I could try to cut some smaller ones real quick. Okay. And see what you sure. all think. Sure, 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 sure. So you're going to go We're going to go here. back to, let's yes, go to yes, yes, yes. We're just going to go back here. Let's make it five inches love it 
Okay, then we're gonna go to make it. We're gonna be able to fit more than seven on this. Heck yeah. Now, how much would you sell this for? Honestly, this depends on your time and how fast you get, because let me tell you, from Lauren's first one to now her third, the time it took changed dramatically. Oh yes. Oh yes. So the first time, and they got better. They're oh, getting yeah. better every time I make them. So the first time I made it, I was trying to figure out um, where I was gonna glue. Look at all those layers. Dude, that's that's 10 on there without even having to move anything. That's awesome. I think you should go with the 10. Let's just that's do it. The, just for everyone, like wow. Let's just that's do it. That awesome. way we don't have to actually sit yeah. there and arrange them. Yeah, that's great. We're gonna click on medium. Oh my gosh, Rita, can you do circles and make balls? Did you answer that? Yes, you can because yes. it's it's incredible. Like that's one of the ways people kind of do. Yes. Is they do this with um, half circles. They do the same technique. You can yes. do this with what other shapes could you do that you've seen? You could about do it with any shape as that you want. Like I yeah. could see a a star might be kind of hard harder. To do. Harder. Um, um, let's go over to the. Let me just hit play on this. Yeah, hit that. So let's go over to the main camera. So if you did, let's just say you did a half circle, and let's say you did glue on the top glue in the middle and glue on the bottom then you would just glue those pairs together with the glue on top bottom and middle and then you're when you started gluing that and sandwiching together mm -hmm. you would do in between the top and bottom and in between so it would be three on one two on another wow. would probably be what you would have love to do that. with the half circle love that um one smaller and one narrow taller tree i mean you could do a narrow taller tree. I would think you would probably need more glue in certain places if you did that. Um, sure. Bells would be beautiful. That would be adorable. Bells would be cute. This is a really an, something that has been around for years. Yeah. Like I've seen these accordion trees. My grandmother used to have all kinds of, not necessarily trees, but like all kinds of accordion, um, which it was made with tissue paper. Yeah. And it was a lot easier to move, but they were so easy to rip and tear. Sydney wants to know who's the beautiful new face here. Can you introduce yourself, Lauren? Who are you? What do you do here? Um, my name is Lauren. For those are there that are new here that don't know, um, I am, well, technically, <laughs> I don't know what I am here at Maker's Gonna Learn. I'm a little bit of everything. Um, I started off with Tanner and Courtney as their nanny slash personal assistant. Um, and it was, it depends was, the day really, huh? depends the day, what you really do. It depends on what day of the tomorrow week it's it going to be the director of our shipping department. Tomorrow I'm director of shipping. Today Wednesday, you're hosting. I'm, I'm host today, director of shipping tomorrow. Wednesday back to Nanny. Back to Nanny on Wednesday. <laughs> it's. Listen, we're I onboarding am, quite a few new faces here. So Lauren is just but helping. I love all yeah. my different jobs. Like I love doing a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, it was, it was one of those things. It was, and I know I've said it once and I'll, I'll say it again. And I'm sure everybody that's been here for forever, um, is tired of hearing me say it, but this was a God thing for both of us. Really? <laughs> yes, it was. Um, yeah, I've, like working with children is like one of my huge passions aside from crafting, like children and crafting. And what's funny is I remember I told Tanner, it was like, I'd say about a month and a half um, before I started working with him, it might've been closer to two months. I was literally sitting and thinking, you know, what kind of job can I have? Because my sister got to know Tanner and Courtney over the summer and she was telling me about what they did and everything else. And I'm like, what kind of job can I have where I get to like sitting and craft all day like that would be the best job ever like that would be so much fun and then it's like i think god was preparing hey, me before i knew here's that the I thing needed here's it. the thing lauren can never say that i told her that like there was something that she would never do or never have to do because i literally told her day one i was like listen or not even day one but day to one meeting i was like listen this role there is no job description and that's what i love about it 
I mean, he, he's right. He I was very say, blunt. I, didn't warn you <laughs> I was very blunt. Because he said, what you do now is going to be completely different than what you do six months down the road. Guys, it didn't take six, six months. It took like three weeks. <laughs> but that's like how it works here. I mean, we're growing multiple businesses. There's always so much fun stuff. So yeah, that's how we met Lauren and we love it. We love it, love it. Um, we had a question. I was like, oh, this is a good one. Um, can't say Lauren's can't multitask. No, we cannot. Um, I'm good at that. <laughs> can you make it on a Cricut 2? Was that the question? Oh, an Explore Air 2. That's a great question. Yeah. So, yes, Jacqueline, you can make this on the Explore Air 2. Um, anytime you see us use that fine point blade, you can make whatever you are making um, with the fine point blade on any Explore machine and up. So Cricut Maker, Cricut Explorer, Explore Family 3. Um, Maker I mean, 3. really, you could, it's going to take you a lot longer. Like you would have to cut your pieces of cardstock down, but you could do it on Enjoy. Could you not? I mean, you could. If but you really wanted to. It, I mean, it might, it, we're going to still. We're still, I don't know about the joy. We have a joy sitting on our back. You can it's see it. great for card making. It really is great for card making. It's great for card making. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Um, and it's great to just take, I mean, I don't know. If you if you really want to take your cricket with you someplace. You can take that cricket joy with you. You can take that cricket joy with you. Yes. Now, our membership does allow you to use the cricket joy. But, y'all, if you're wanting to make projects for a lot of different uses, I highly recommend if you're looking to get a Cricut machine this holiday season, the Cricut Joy probably would not be the one I recommend. Um, the price point on the Joy I think is 140 to 159 right now, and you could have an Explorer Air 2 for like roughly the same price, maybe mm -hmm. 20 bucks more. Um, so just be mindful of that. Cutting, you know, uh, I forget the size of the Cricut Joy, like four and a half by six, and then um, a Cricut Explorer Air 2 can do like 12 by 24. So it's crazy. Anywho, I'm just like re I'm reading you're all just these reading comments. The comments. Yeah. Oh, we're, now your kindergarten teachers has automatic entrance into heaven. I thought <laughs> I thought I'm a little bit of every grade. Oh, so Lauren actually wore multiple hats at her previous role in the school system too. Yeah. Yeah. So I was I've wore lots of hats pretty much in every job that I have held, um, and that was one thing. Like I, you know, that I was always, you know, not like master master of one thing but you know pretty mm. decent at a lot of oh, things yeah. <laughs> about your jack back. of all trades and a master of none <laughs> but um yeah no i, I was it. for those that don't know um i was a 4-h agent um in my last role um absolutely loved my job loved working with kids um i did everything from sewing club to we had a photography club um I ran or I um, coached a shooting sports team. Heck yeah. I coached a wildlife judging team. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, when I say it was over the board, like across the board, I yeah. did a little bit of everything. Now, I helped my kids when it came to showing livestock, um, and I learned so much. Um, but I did not necessarily like. I didn't coach the livestock judging team. I helped them. I helped them with reasons and stuff like that. Love but that. it was it was a I loved it, and I still that's where I learned how to use a silhouette, not a cricket. I learned how to use a silhouette there. It was one of those things we really needed um, to make awards for our kids mm. because we didn't have the funding to go and buy awards, like buy all kinds of awards. So, um, Aaliyah has a good point. I will touch on that in just a second <laughs> i wasn't um, even gonna go there <laughs> yeah i'll touch on that in just a second um y'all y'all maybe we need to, people are saying wildlife can you explain what 4-h is okay so 4-h oh I've we're in the whole, south I've we're got in the a south whole spiel of what 4-h is 4-h is one of the largest youth organizations actually in the entire world did you know that i did not 4-h is in i can't remember how many countries but it is one of the largest youth organizations in the entire world. Um, Lauren, did you know, thanks to 4-H, that's where I started public speaking? People don't realize public speaking yeah. in 4-H is a huge thing. Um, and um, it is, we have all kinds of, we, there was, there's like 36 different projects in 4-H that our kids participate Dang. in. Yeah, I mean, anything ranging from wildlife, they have a STEM portion now. They do... Um, 
um, clothing and textiles, actually clothing and textiles is probably one of their older ones, um, but they have an entrepreneurship. Love it. Um, I mean, that's what all farmers are, entrepreneurs. They really are. Um, just can't see them doing wildlife. So yes, wildlife is part of all of that. Um, actually, with my shooting sports program, I was incorporating, we were doing a wildlife slash shooting sports slash uh, survival skills that I was teaching. Um, what do you do if you get lost out in the woods and you don't know where you're at? Like, it was, it was so much fun. It really <laughs> was. Um, but yeah, it was just one of those things. God needed me elsewhere. Heck yeah. So here I am. Love it. And um, now you're making a tree. Now I'm making a tree with my friends. Lauren, are you making a tree because it represents your top at 4-H wildlife? Because it's my wildlife tree. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm rolling. This no, is too no, good. we're good. I'm gonna I'll put. I'm it. gonna put these. Okay, tell. Yeah, you're gonna have to review the smaller tree. So if so anyone's just, just tuning in, like all we already made these beautiful trees. Please rewind to see the, the beautiful tree come together. This is now Lauren's testing someone's request yes. of can we make these smaller because they want to create a forest. Um, so now we're just hanging out. So it's a lot we're of fun. We're just hanging out. We're the Black testing. Friday deals have been extended. Just wanted to let anyone know that's just popping in. Please make sure you get those deals while they are good because yeah. I'm telling you, getting grandfathered in is where it is at. Yeah, so if you took another deal like any other time of the year, um, you may not be grandfathered in. So double, double check that if you wanna make sure you're at our lowest rate. Um, and you know you're going to be a part of Makers Learn for multiple years, you're going to get multiple savings during this promotion. So go ahead and um, grandfather yourself in, say yes to membership, and get access to the thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, um, and like 20 courses, just completely free. And look at Lauren. I'm going to go back over to the overhead. She's just gluing these together. Well, this is all I've amazing. got of the little ones. Love. But I definitely think Here, it's going to be a little to harder learn. to... Uh, Right, 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 right. Oh, we're back on one. It's going to be a little harder to uh, separate these out right now. Okay. But yeah, no, I definitely think it's doable. Okay, cool. It's definitely doable with the smaller Follow the ones. same process. And I think it would be super cute. That would be adorable. That would be super cute. It would. It's going to take more than 10, um, more than five pairs of these for me to be able to separate them out and mm -hmm. you all see it. But I do think that sizing these down and making them smaller or even bigger is going to, it's going to be perfectly fine. Love it, love it. Yay! Well, what a fun project. Does anybody else have any more questions? Like, I feel like, I feel like we're, am I short today? Like, Honey, oh you're well God. over. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lauren, you have been, I mean, there's so much to cover in this project. Like, yeah. like the design space portion, arranging them properly, using the right um, adhesive. We've covered a ton. Yeah. I'm pretty, I'm very impressed. I'm, I hope to see a lot of people making the trees. So guys, what other questions do you have? We are super excited to see you all make this. And it's a really just a repetitive one. Like Aaliyah was dairy princess. That is hilarious. Someone <laughs> said we don't have that in Philly, which I thought that was funny. Um, it well, actually, well, you'll just have to check. It's, you're it's, to listen, every state is different. Um, I think Tennessee just is Just embraces. One of, yeah, it's it's one of the things that um, every state is different. I know in Pennsylvania they're called community clubs. They're not oh. called because uh, we actually get to we still got to go in the um, school system and do stuff. Oh. So we got to go in their classroom and work with them. We did like a um, oh one of my favorites was um, our family consumer science agent and some other people. We helped. Them. We did a learn, grow, eat, and go where we taught kids how they mm. learned about farming and the importance of agriculture. Then they had raised beds at their school where they grew what they were, um, grew the vegetables. And then we, um, they had to taste those vegetables wow. and learn how to cook with those vegetables. Love it. Yeah. That is amazing. Um, we have a nice friend that says, just tune in, but I love to see Lauren in front of the camera instead of just the voice behind the <laughs> camera. So woohoo. They've been well, loving I've had a you. blast with you guys today. Like this has been, um, it's just been like talking with friends yeah. and kind of explaining stuff with you guys. So I've absolutely loved it. Um, once again, if you are interested in getting our deals right now, we had so many friends that decided that they they didn't want to miss out on these, so we decided to extend our deals. 
I mean, Black Friday is still in November. It's Cyber Monday it's, today, so it's we Cyber had Monday. To it's still it. November. We're we not love so, it. we're not quitting our deals yet. Um, you have until uh, end of tomorrow. End of tomorrow. So wrap Midnight out the month. tomorrow. We are Woo-hoo. for sure wrapping it all up. And Alyssa, um, she says, I've been watching the channel for a while, but don't have a membership yet. Alyssa, what are you waiting for? Grab your membership. Lowest prices of the year. We'd love to have you. And it's one of the, it's, yeah, it's, it pays for itself. In cut files alone, it pays for itself. Not speaking the education that you get. Mm-hmm. Um, and as Tanner always says, we want to provide the education and the motivation and the inspiration. Oh, for you she to get listens. Wow. I listen. <laughs> I, I start, I'm listening. That's my um, thing. But yeah, definitely jump in. I mean, I don't know at this point. I mean, you can make this project and so much more. I mean, let's just, why don't we go ahead and show them like some of these. Look at this. Let's go over to our. Just go over to where you were searching on the, on the website. Cause there's over, I like to share that there's over a thousand Christmas cut falls. So if you scroll up and and click on that Christmas category. I mean, this is just what I search Christmas trees. Yeah. And you get all of this just in a search for Christmas trees and there's multiple pages. Yeah. You get unlimited downloads. I mean, there's so many great things. If you click on that Christmas category, you can see the variation or you could search literally anything. Yeah. Stockings. I mean, there's so many different things to search. You can make your own Christmas cards from this. Oh, Um, yeah. Signs. There's all these there's all kinds of fonts as well like yes. i think the fonts alone don't get me wrong like these uh cut files are amazing absolutely but like the fonts that you can mm-hmm. do things with yes. everyone kind of finds their favorite thing like some people say the fonts some people say cut files. some people say facebook group commercial license the moral of the story is you will find a favorite um which we love so that yeah is, that is fun so all these beautiful like hand lettered fonts it's just, I just, I, it's, and not only do you get what we have here, um, but you also get new ones every oh month. Oh my gosh, yeah. Every single week you get, whether it's new cut files, fonts, a challenge, so much fun for And it's not the just month. files that, it's print then cut files. Mm-hmm. It's sublimation files. You can turn some of these into 3D sublimation. files. We are 3D adding files. a video tutorial for every single 3D project we have, which is incredible. Yes. Um, I do not know what 3D masks are, but send us uh, an example and we'll see what we can do. Speaking of this 3D, like this little 3D purse right here. That's adorable. If you have a, a granddaughter or a daughter or son even that does, that loves American Girl dolls, um, they're so cute. Like I actually, we, we have one in a box back there um, that we've got saved because I think um, our girl... Her, what is her name? Is Lydia. Her? Lydia, um, who you all will be seeing a lot more of, is going to be making a video. I'm so sorry. Lydia is the photographer. No, not Lydia. Um, Kelsey, who is Kelsey, amazing. We love Kelsey. Who is our 3D um, paper specialist. Paper specialist. Yeah, yes. she's our and resident she's paper so specialist. so good. So good. Love her. She's from so Florida good. and she's amazing. We've hooked her up with all our favorite tools. So she's Are awesome. you able to use any of the fonts to write with the Cricut? So our fonts are not um, like the writing specific fonts, but you can outline those and fill those in and things like that. I like to do print and cut a lot when it comes to fonts. So yeah, that's a great question. But yay, Does I use the Christmas pattern to sublimate a mug. Woohoo! I love seeing everyone talk about sublimation. You can get in on the sublimation deal before it's too late. So I'm gonna drop that link one last time because the $70 off expires December so this just be careful about that. This is the join page. Let me yeah. see if I can find our sublimation Oh, page. it's makersgonnalearn.com oh. slash sublimate. Well, you got the link. Yeah, dropped. I got the link. We're going to go back to camera one. Yeah, oh my gosh, this link. has been so much fun. I'm so glad that I was able to spend a Monday with you all. I Woo-hoo. hope we made it a little bit better. I know Mondays can sometimes be a drag. Um, but we were trying to make make your Monday a little bit better. Um, please make sure if you are in the Makers Gonna Learn community and you are on our Facebook page and you make this, please drop those pictures so I can see them. Heck, tag me in them. I think I'm part of the group. Tag at Lauren McCoy Love so that it. I can see them because I want to make sure I get to see all of these because I'm so excited about them. Yes. But if no one else has any more questions, I guess my next live 
will be my little ornament that I'm making. Ooh, that not not be Maker's good. gonna learn next live, but the next live that, that I'll you're be hosting. hosting. That's yes. a good project. They're I'll gonna, be behind the camera, but they're gonna love that one. I know. I'm excited about that mm -hmm. one too. Well, thanks, guys. Okie doke. I hope y'all have a good day. See ya. Bye.